The dribble tutorial that you guys have all been asking for is here. Just remember, this is my dribble tutorial, and if you don't like it, get your J from the A looking ass back. Also, if you want to watch me play live every single day, make sure you go follow me on Twitch. All right, so before y'all do anything, bro, make sure y'all follow my steps, bro. Go to your controller settings and go to your pro stick function and make sure it's on default and make sure your pro stick orientation is on absolute. Next, make sure y'all put on the same six that I have on right here. If you guys want to try this out with your own dribble moves, just use mine just for this video while you're learning the dribble moves and then you can try out different stuff. All right, so the first move that's highly requested, a lot of people ask me how to do this is the spin back. It's this move right here. Everybody want to know how to do the fast spin back. You got to make sure you have on basic spin. So the best way for me to explain how to do this. Now, if the ball is in your right hand, bro, you want to use the right stick like it's a clock. You want to rotate it from 12 to 3. Sometimes you can do 3 to 6 depending on like where you're running or what angle you're running at at the court. But if you're running straight downwards, like straight downwards towards the basket, you want to go 12 to 3 and you're going to do the fast spin back every single time. Now, it's the same way if you're running from the left, you would just go 12 to 9. You would start it at the top and you would rotate it real fast 12 to 9, bro, from the top all the way to the left once you get real skilled at doing the spin back you can kind of like spam the spins back and forth like i started having a habit of doing it like this and you can literally just spam it back and forth like that all right so the next move is the moving behind the back from 2k19 i don't really know what else to call it but it's this move right here we usually call it the pro three but it's this move right here so basically all you got to do to do this move is if the ball is in your left hand you want to hold right trigger you want to hold your right stick to the right diagonally downwards like if it was a clock, I'm going to use numbers. If it was a clock, you would basically hold it downwards to the right. And right when you do that, push your left stick to the right. Right after you do that. So hold right trigger first. Then flick your right stick to the bottom right. And then you want to hold your left stick that in the direction that you want to go. So as soon as you do that, you should be getting this animation every single time. Flick the right stick first. And then you actually hold the left stick down. So you should be getting this animation every single time you do it. It's the same way from the left to the right. You should be getting this animation every single time that you do it. All right, so the move I'm going to be showing y'all how to do is the LeBron move and crossover into the spin back. Now, if y'all don't know what the LeBron move and cross is, basically it's this right here. It could set you up to really do a lot of dribble moves, but especially that. Now, you can use this crossover and just rim run off of it alone because it's fast. And then, you know what I'm saying? It creates a lot of space. But when you do the spin back off of it, it makes it tough. I do this move all the time when I'm on the ones court. You just run forward. And you literally just do it straight into a spin back, bro. So basically what you want to do is, is if you're running forward, you don't even have to hold right trigger. Y'all want to learn how to dribble without holding right trigger because when you do this, a lot of these moves that I'm showing y'all, y'all don't need to use adrenaline for it. But if you use all your adrenaline up, all your dribble moves going to be slow and then you're going to get boxed and then you're going to have to just throw a shot up. You know what I'm saying? So basically what you're doing is as you're moving forward with your left stick, flick your right stick up. That's it. As you're pushing forward with your left stick. And you'll cross over to the other hand. If it's in the right hand, boom, you do the same thing every single time. Now, that's how you do the LeBron move and cross. Now, if you want to do other dribble moves out of it, if you want to dunk the ball off of it, do whatever you want. You know what I'm saying? But when you're moving forward and you do the move and crossover, as soon as you do that, you got to think about which hand the ball is in. If you're doing a crossover to the right hand, as soon as you do that, you want to flick your stick from 12 to 3. You know what I'm saying? I already told you how to do the spin back. So literally, you're moving forward with your left stick, you flick up. Boom, rotate your stick. That's the move across straight into the spin back. I do this all the time. You can really spam it once you get it down, bro. Like, I do freestyle dribbling all the time. You could go like, boom, boom. You do that into the step back. You can literally spam this move over and over. Move across into the spin back. Do the step back. Run forward. Move across, spin back every time. Like, you know what I'm saying? And now it looks like you gliding around the court. Now, if you spam it like this, look, I'm doing it right now. I'm running forward. Move across, spin back. Now it looks like I'm gliding around the court. Y'all see what I'm saying? So once you get it down, pack, bro, you know what I'm saying? People be trying to call me. And literally, people be in the comments saying I'm dribbling like Steezo, but I'm really not doing nothing crazy, bro. I'm telling you, just a moving cross straight into a spin back. You just got to learn how to do one move first, and then you just got to chain them together. That's All right, so the next move we're going to get into is the misdirection behind the back spam. A lot of people ask me how to do this because this is like a free glitch to get to the hoop or to just shoot a shot because a lot of people play back on the ones and they don't. They just try to bait you to shoot it, but this can open up a lot because if you got on limitless takeoff on goal, you can get a dunk off of this, or if they back up, you can literally shoot off of it in green a lot because actually, I get my green animation a lot when I dribble like every time I do this move. So basically, all you got to do is, is hold right trigger. You're not going to use no adrenaline just to do this move. You're not going to use no adrenaline. So hold right trigger, and you want to flick your right stick diagonally down to the other hand, and then as you're doing that, you want to flick your left stick over to the hand that the ball was already in. So if it's in your right hand, you want to hold right trigger, flick your right stick down to the left, 
and push your left stick over to the right, if that makes sense. So normally, if the ball's in your right hand, let's say you want to do like the little curry slide animation, you will hold right trigger, you will flick your right stick diagonally down to the other hand. That's all, that's the move that you're gonna get right there. So if you're getting this right here, before you actually do anything with your left stick, that's the right thing. But as soon as you do that, hold your left stick to the hand that the ball was already in. So every single time you should be getting that animation right there. Every single time you should be getting this animation right here. Now how you spam it, you just gotta pay attention to which hand the ball is in, but you can literally spam this for days. And every time you do this, boom, you can speed boost out of it. You can shoot out of it. Literally, I'm telling you, it's OP. I tend to not do it as much on the ones court because if you mess up and you do like a step back or something, it'll be out of bounds because you know what I'm saying 2K made the 1v1 court on 23. They made it like super small, but you can literally spam this as much as you want. You can run out of it, combo out of it. You can do whatever. You can use that just to like chain your other dribble moves together. You know what I'm saying? Like you could do two crosses and then you can literally just start spamming it speed boost out of it do a spin back you know what i'm saying you can do anything out of this dribble move bro. all right so that next move i want to show y'all is the luca moving step back now a lot of people were seeing me do this and they think that it's a moving hezzy it's luca's moving step back literally all right so every time that you're running you could be running to the left or the right as soon as you're running bro all you have to do to do the step back is flick down on your right stick you don't even have to be holding right trigger you can literally just be walking and boom Flick back, you do the move and step back. You see how much space that creates? Literally, you can get your dribble moves off as soon as you do it. You can literally shoot off of it without quick stopping. I'll show y'all an example right here. Look, you don't have to quick stop or nothing. You can literally shoot straight off of it. Now, I chain this with a lot of my dribble moves so that I can continue dribbling and I can create a lot of space. Y'all see me do this a lot. I run forward, do a spin back into the move and step back. Now, you see how much space that made? Now, I'm going to have my mans guard me so I can kind of show y'all like a better example of what I mean. All right, so I'm going to show y'all right now. Now, if I'm running forward, I hit the spin back, and I do the set back. Look at how much space I just created off of that move alone. You know what I'm saying? That You can get a three up off of that. Now, a lot of the times, y'all, I would like anybody that's watched me play on this build, like on my ISO build and stuff on stream, when I do this move to people, they always jump because they think I'm going to rim run, and I do a step back. Look how far, you know what I'm saying? Like, look how much, like every time I get all that space just from doing that move, bro. So, once I get the step back down, bro, like I said, Y'all can literally just shoot out of it whenever. It creates a lot of space. And the speed boost out of this step back is crazy. Like, when you run to the wing and you do this step back, you can literally, like, get straight blow bys and get to the rack. And, like, you know what I'm saying? Just It's free buckets, bro. So, like I said, y'all got to get these moves down, bro. It's really not nothing crazy. Like I said, all you got to do is just learn how to chain them together. All right, so the next move I want to show y'all is the pullback. A lot of people still don't understand how to do this because I think it's a little bit different from 2K23. I mean, 2K22. So when you do this move, you can do it without holding right trigger. But I tend to only do it when I hold right trigger because I know I'm going to get it every time. So basically, to do the pullback, this right here is the same move from 2K22. To do it, all you have to do is hold right trigger, flick up on your right stick, and pull back on your left stick. So as soon as you flick up, hold down on your left stick. As soon as you flick up on your right stick, hold down on your left stick. And the only way to spam it, you have to give yourself a second to watch the animation play out last year you could just spam it and it was like real fluent and quick you actually got to give yourself a second before you do it again you can't just spam it like super fast this year that's the only reason why people mess up on that move a lot but you can still use it speed boost out of it um you can literally use that just to create space just to start dribbling you know what i'm saying like i'm on a power four right now and y'all can see how i'm dribbling i'm not even on my guard doing this dribble tutorial all right so the next move i'm gonna show you how to do is the ray for austin speed boost bro a lot of people don't know how to do this but if you got on this move you gotta have on ray for austin signature size up now when you run across or if you're just standing still all you have to do is if the ball's in your left hand you want to flick your right stick diagonally upwards like I would flick it up to two. You want to flick it diagonally upwards to the other hand. So if it's in your left hand, you want to flick it upwards to the right. If it's in your right hand, flick it upwards to the left. And as soon as you do that, you hold right trigger and just speed boost out of it every time. So as soon as you do that, you can speed boost. I mean, if you want to, like I said, you can do that and then you can start comboing. You could do it in the middle of your combos. Like I could spam a couple behind the backs and then boom, you feel me? Like, you know what I'm saying? This is just one crazy other move to add to your arsenal. I kind of don't do it in game as much because I kind of mess up and do it on accident sometimes. But like I said, bro, it can really be OP once you get it down packed. Oh, God. All right. So the last thing that I'm going to explain to y'all and really just show y'all what to do, bro, is like if you want to chain these dribble moves together, bro, all you got to do, I'm going to teach y'all one combo right now. This the moving crossover into the spin back, into the Luka Doncic step back, and then you chain it together and you like that's what makes 
Like, you literally start gliding around the court, and people will literally start trying to make you seem like you dribbling like Steezo if you do this, bro. So you do the moving cross, the spin back. You literally, you don't, I'm not holding right trigger during none of this. If y'all look at the hand cam, I'm not holding right trigger, and I'm literally dribbling like this. You know what I'm saying? So every single time you do the step back, just start holding your left stick back the other way so you can just, you know what I'm saying? Just start to run or jog the other way, and you can literally just spam it over and over. So you do the moving cross, spin, step back. Moving across, spin, step back, literally over and over. And then you just get to gliding around the court. Now, I don't recommend this move for people that don't have home unpluckable because on God, I literally dropped the ball a couple times like because I use unpluckable on bronze because it don't even work. But when I run at people and I do that moving cross, if they're like directly in front of you, you might drop the ball if you don't have on unpluckable. I'm just warning y'all now. But when y'all do this for the most part, the only time you really can get ripped on this move is when you're in the middle of doing the spin back for the most part. That's like the only time that I really get ripped. But once y'all get it down packed, bro, y'all really should be just gliding around the court. It's a lot to take in at once. So that's why I said just get one move down at a time, bro. You want to run forward, get the moving cross down first. Uh, you want to run forward, get the step back down, get the spin back down. Once you get it all down, bro, I'm telling you, bro, y'all going to be OD, bro. I'm telling y'all. So... Like I said, I showed y'all everything right there. Let me know if y'all got any questions in the comment section down below. I'm going to show y'all some gameplay on the ones with me using, you know what I'm saying, these dribble moves in game. WL in the comment section, man. I told y'all boys I had y'all with the dribble tuck. Um, once the new dribble moves come out in the newer seasons and stuff like that, obviously, we're going to do updated dribble tucks and stuff. This is the best way I can explain the dribble moves that I really do for the most part. These are what I do to get open. There are some people that dribble way crazier than me on this game. But I dribble to score and to be a little bit flashy. So this is how you get right, man. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. We're going to get into the gameplay, man. Lay out, boys. It's Jogging or No Gang. Let's run it, man. Let's get into it. All right, so we into another game right now, bro. I'm about to show y'all some gameplay with me using the hand cam. I'm going to try to get these dribble moves off during the game. We got a 71 stretch glass. This should be a free game just to show y'all the dribble moves. But I'm going to do it in-game so I can show y'all like that. It works on the 1v1 court, the 2s court, the 3s court, whatever. The 2s and 3s is better because you got way more room to like really get shifty. But like I said, I be doing this on the 1s, so you already know, man. All right, so let's get into it, bro. I got the step back right there. A spin back, a step back again. Look, it's a free 3. Now, if somebody was guarding me and I was doing that, like if he was guarding me tight, it would be way easier like you for me to show y'all what, what, like, what really happens to people that try to guard it. But like I said, these will really get you open. Like you running towards the hoop. You do a spin back look at him he's jumping and i'm right there for the three again why like that quick it's easy bro i'm telling y'all like once y'all get it down pack you can like do the moving crossover running at an angle do the spin back look at, look how far the step back put me all the way back to the three it's green again like you know what i'm saying it's just once y'all get it down bro i'm telling y'all like it's really easy to just do it in game um because i used to think like it was hard like now nah, it definitely is hard to like really like learn how to dribble like Steezo. And yeah, you gonna mess up sometimes because I still mess up now. Like it's muscle memory doing these dribble moves, but I still mess up now. So I'm telling y'all, bro, it's way easier to do it once. Give yourself some time, but give yourself like a couple days, bro. Cause I ain't gonna lie, when I first learned how to do these moves, bro, I got super duper happy. And after that, I kind of knew like I was gonna be a I was gonna be a problem on the ones court. I got a 90 win percentage, and I really just play ones for the most part. So y'all gotta think like I'm not on a post score. I'm not on no pure slash or nothing. My build really, I mean, my build really can do everything for the most part. But like I said, this build, this build, the dribble moves, everything, like, you feel me? Just the dribble tutorial alone could help y'all just to, you know what I'm saying, become good. And then y'all got to hit goat level. Y'all got to get all them extra points and stuff like that it's just to hit legend. So, you know what I'm saying? Y'all might as well make my build, put on my sigs, the, the, use the dribble tutorial, learn how to dribble like me. And man, y'all going to be able to get right, bro. I'm telling you. Like that quick already, like in the game, I got 16 points. Like he just backing up. But I'm telling you, the step back create a lot of space. And if you got on sharp take, and let alone slash and take, if you got on sharp and slash and take, bro, on oh God, you shouldn't be losing once you learn how to dribble like me on oh God. Cause literally it's free rim runs, it's free threes, just about like literally. So it's gonna be OD, bro. When y'all get it down pack, I'm telling y'all. All right, so right here, I'm gonna just do the advanced combo, bro. I'm gonna just do the whole combo in this show. The moving cross into the spin behind the back and everything like moving cross spin spam it moving cross spin again I'm just literally look spamming it every time look at him he don't even know what to do game over that quick bro you finishing games in two minutes doing these dribble moves bro I'm telling y'all bro y'all just gotta get it down pack y'all gonna be straight man I'm telling y'all bro alright so if y'all boys enjoyed this dribble tutorial bro make sure you drop a like man and make sure y'all boys subscribe and turn on all notifications y'all know I got y'all bro 
We got a whole bunch of banger content coming soon. I'm going to be playing on some unique builds and stuff like that. I'm going to start a series too, like a series of events. That's just, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be a part one and a part two and with, with 2K content, bro. So I'm telling you, it's going to be an OD, bro. 2K23 is about to be a good year, man. We almost hit 84K subscribers already, and we just hit 83K last week. I love y'all boys, man. Make sure y'all go follow me on Twitch if y'all want to see me play live every day. And I'm out this bitch, man. It's Jogang or No Gang, and I love y'all, man. Peace. I'm gone.